T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. Lift off, Starlink 423. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal. You are watching Falcon 9 as it accelerates our Starlink satellites Power into orbit. Phenomenal. And we caught some really cool views of the vehicle flying through the clouds there. Falcon is supersonic. And that call out that Falcon is supersonic, that means that the vehicle is traveling faster than the speed of sound. And we had a call out that we have just passed through max Q. That is the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle sees on ascent. Great view of the Falcon 9 engines. Invac engine chill has begun. There will be three events coming up here shortly, happening back to back. That will be MECO, or main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1, or second stage engine start one. Now MECO is where all nine of those engines that you see lit up on your screen, they will shut down in preparation for stage separation. Once the stages separate from each other, Stage one will make its way back down to Earth while stage two continues, airing our Starlink satellites to orbit with SES-1 or second stage engine startup one, and that's where the MVEC engine on the second stage will ignite. And we go. Stage separation. Invac ignition. Bearing separation. And we just had Miko stage separation, SES-1 on your right hand screen. You can see that Mvac engine lighting up there, and we did have confirmation of fairing deploy. Today marks the third flight for both fairing halves and the 30th mission this year utilizing flight proven fairings. We will attempt to recover the fairing halves again today to use on a future launch. Now what you're seeing on your screen on the left hand side, it's a bit dark, but that is the first stage view. And on your right hand screen is a view on the second stage, looking at the MVAC engine. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. And that call out there, that is a confirmation that we have connected to one of our ground stations ground stations that we utilize during our flights. Now this mission marks SpaceX's 176th mission overall. Today we are carrying a stack of Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. So far everything is looking good on the first stage and the second stage.
Now, right now, you see a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage, but stage one is currently making its way back down to Earth. It'll utilize a couple more burns in order to touch down for landing. The first is coming up just a little over a minute and a half from now. That will be the entry burn. Vehicles following nominal trajectories. And good call-outs that the vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Now the entry burn will be three of the nine M1D engines reigniting. That helps slow the vehicle down as it makes its way back through the Earth's atmosphere. Now once the entry burn concludes, the atmosphere actually helps to scrub most of the velocity on the first stage. And then it will utilize a single engine burn for the landing burn uh, just a, a minute later after the entry burn concludes. And we are attempting to land on our drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas tonight. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Now, Starlink recently went live in Norway, and we are currently live in 39 countries and 46 markets around the world. Stage one, FTS is saved. Stage one, Interprint startup. And as you can see on your left-hand screen, the entry burn has begun. That is three of the nine M1D engines reigniting. This burn should last just about 20 seconds long. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that call out concludes that the entry burn is complete. Now the landing burn will be just about a minute from now. And during the landing burn, we will get Stage a... two, FTS is safe. During the landing burn, we will have second engine cutoff one, or SECO one, on the second stage. You may hear those callouts happening around the same time. Stage one, transonic. Terminal guidance. And we're just under 20 seconds away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. And shortly after the landing burn begins, we will also have SECA one or second engine cutoff one. Stage one, landing burn. And the landing burn has begun on the first stage. And we are attempting to land on our drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas tonight. Landing light deploy. And Seco. Stage one, landing is confirmed. And there you can see Falcon 9 has landed. This marks the 138th landing of an orbital class rocket. 110. This is the 110th reflight of a Falcon 9 first stage booster. And we also did hear Seco 1 on the second stage. Loss of signal, uh, J6 and PPF. And we also did hear a confirmation of good orbit. Now today's stack of Starlink satellites also, of signal, also marks the highest ever payload mass to orbit on a recoverable Falcon 9 at 16.7 metric tons. Stage two is now carrying 54 Starlink satellites into low, orth, low Earth orbit. 
And with confirmation of first stage landing and successful SECO-1, we'll wrap up today's launch coverage. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check out SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. We'll see you again soon.